What's up everyone, King Tar Hill back with a new feature on my channel, a remote play review. Remote play is an amazing feature on the PlayStation Vita. I absolutely love it. I use it every day, whether I'm over at a friend's house and I'm just logging into my PS4 to do something really quick while we're waiting, or if I'm laying on my couch all day Sunday playing my PS4 on my Vita watching football. Remote play in general is just a wonderful feature, but due to the differences between the PS4 and the PS Vita, especially in the control schemes and certain games, the way they just play, some games are better than others to use it. Today I'm going to take a look at Destiny, a complicated game for sure, but easily one of the biggest games you're going to find on the PlayStation 4, and surprisingly, one of the best remote play experiences you're going to find on the PlayStation Vita as well. Let's start with the controls. Destiny wisely decided to forego the use of the rear touchscreen, instead relying on other FPSs on the Vita as an inspiration in the control scheme. To throw a grenade, simply tap the bottom left corner. To throw a melee, bottom right, tap the middle to pull up your ghost, and tap both bottom corners to activate your super. Destiny maps the sprint button to the down directional pad on the Vita. It's a wonderful choice, though it does negate any of the dancing, pointing, or sitting on the console version that you have. So if you can't live with running around the tower, pointing at people, and dancing with them, well, I feel kind of sorry for you, but on the Vita, sprinting becomes second nature, and it's no more difficult than clicking down on the PS4. The control scheme overall works relatively well, allowing you to complete most functions with little delay, even if it is slightly less efficient than your PlayStation 4 counterpart. Gameplay-wise, Destiny works as a wonderful secondary piece on the PlayStation Vita. The game involves plenty of grinding style missions, and things don't involve absolute attention or incredible precision. I can speak from experience that I've had no problem running the daily heroics mission, grinding strikes, bounties, or rep from the comfort of my Vita with no trouble whatsoever. Now, there is some precision lost when using the Vita. That split second delay of touching the front touchscreen could be the difference between life and death in the Crucible. So I would avoid treading into the multiplayer waters without some serious patience if you're expecting to do well. I also wouldn't recommend doing any high level rage or content and expecting that same 100% precision of the DualShock 4. It's just not there. I know it's silly to talk about graphics in a remote play review, but man this is a really pretty game, especially when you're just rolling around Venus farming out those rare purples that never seem to drop, or you're leveling a new character. It's just a joy to watch on the Vita and it's something that I really do appreciate. Overall, regardless of your feelings of Destiny as a game in its own right, it's either one of those games that gets you hooked or it doesn't. If you're one of the people who do play Destiny on a regular basis, Destiny is one of the best games that you're going to find to remote play on the Vita with. It controls admirably and is perfect for jumping in on the Vita and farming out those repetitive bounties and grinding those marks from the strike missions without being parked in front of your PS4 all day. That's it for the remote play review of Destiny. As always, let me know what you think down in the comments section below. You can follow me on Twitter at KingTarHeel101. Stay tuned for more videos. That's it. Take care.